Okay, so let's see. 1,450 watts per square meter of energy is incident on a planet whose upper atmosphere has an albedo of 0.23. So it's going to reflect 23% of it. What intensity of light gets through the upper atmosphere? I can get that. That's easy, right? So, so this is like the absorbed intensity, right? So um, I absorbed is going to be that 1450 times 1 minus 0.23. Okay. Because if you did times 0.23, that would be the reflected intensity, right? This obviously absorbs most of it, which is, uh, so 1450 times left parenthesis 1 minus 0.23, right parenthesis. And that's 1116.5 watts per square meter. Gets through, right? Okay, let's see. What is the average intensity? Okay, okay. So now, now here's the thing, right? The Earth is frontally to the Sun a uh, circle, which has an area of pi r squared, right? But that pi r squared is in fact being spread out, right? That, that, that um, incoming radiation is being spread out over an area of a sphere, which is 4 pi r squared. So we're going to take the 1116.5, multiply by pi r squared, divide by the so that's the, this is what we receive is frontally the pi r squared, but the Earth has an overall area of 4 pi r squared. So notice that the net effect here is that we just divide by 4. The ratio of the, what, the cross-sectional area of the Earth to its surface area is 1 fourth, which is kind of cool, right? So I take that number, divide by 4, and I get 279. 0.125 watts per square meter. And that is the average absorbed absorption over the whole surface. This, is, this accounts for night and day and seasons or whatever. It doesn't really matter, right? Okay. It's just a, like, a, like an energy input output parameter. Every, every square meter um, is absorbing that on the average. Some places more, some places less, right? Okay.